Good afternoon, dear friends. This is Natalia, an all right dog channel. Quite often, I use the term of hypertension, in other words, high blood pressure, in such topics as how to eat right or what to do to avoid or normalize high blood pressure. And I believe some of you, especially those who often encounter with hypertension, would ask. Alright doc, what medications are the best in dealing with high blood pressure? Today I will tell you about 5 commonly used medications for the treatment of hypertension and reveal the little secrets of their use. For better illustration, let's take a 5-pointed star and place those 5 most prescribed blood pressure lowering medication at each end. At the top of the star is hydrochlorothiazide, a diuretic that reduces blood pressure by dilating the small vessels, arterioles. Some patients worry that it may critically lower their blood pressure if it's normalized. Don't worry, hydrochlorothiazide has no effect on normal blood pressure. A decrease in blood pressure with hydrochlorothiazide usually occurs after 3-4 days and you need to wait 3-4 weeks from the time you start to take it to get the best effect. As a side note, Hydrochlorothiazide is rarely used as monotherapy. More often, it's prescribed in combination with other pills, and especially with lisinopril and losartan. And both of them I'd place in the base of the star. Lisinopril is good for treating high blood pressure in people with cardiac insufficiency, diabetes with kidney damage, and past myocardial infarction. The question most often asked by patients is, which combination is better? Lisinopril with hydrochlorothiazide or losartan with hydrochlorothiazide. In my opinion, the treatment of hypertension should start with a combination of lisinopril and hydrochlorothiazide. Of course, if there are no contraindications for its prescription and no side effects, especially dry cough, which is quite common with long-term lisinopril. Why do I emphasize lisinopril and not enalapril, which patients are more familiar with? Practice shows that lisinopril has a longer duration of action and controls blood pressure more effectively in the afternoon, moreover, it causes dry cough less often and is also safe in patients with functional liver disorders. If lisinopril is ineffective, losartan is prescribed, which is also often used in combination with hydrochlorothiazide, for example, the medication called COSAR. This medication is quite effective in terms of controlling blood pressure, besides side effects are rare. However, if you have problems with the liver, it is still better to ask for lisinopril. In the side points of the star, I have placed amlodipine on the left and metoprolol on the right. These medications belong to different groups. What they have in common is that they are successfully prescribed when hypertension is combined with coronary heart disease. About the peculiarities of prescription, side effects and priority in terms of choosing one or another medication for the treatment of cardiovascular diseases, you will find out in details in my other videos. Check them out and don't miss the new ones. And of course, never forget to consult your doctor. Be healthy, dear friends, and see you soon. Yours, Natalia.